Hey everybody, good evening. My name is Phil and this is my 2021 BMW R1250 GS Adventure. And first and foremost, I wanna thank you for clicking on the video. Helps the channel. Hopefully the content is great. And if you're so inclined, please hit that subscribe button. So what are we talking about today? We're addressing some comments on the video, which I've answered, but I thought to make a separate video just because, you know, frame of reference. People want frame of reference. When they see a motorcycle like this, that's tall and big and wide and whatever, they're like, hey, how tall are you when you're riding that thing? You know, whatever. So the answer is this, five foot 11, roughly. I did some conversions on the internets, 180 centimeters. So what does that mean? That means that when I have this motorcycle vertical, just like this, I have trouble, I cannot flat foot this. What do I mean by flat foot? Flat foot being both feet flat on the ground. Let me interject something. You're like, why are the lights on? I don't know. I just thought to shoot the video like this because it's cooler. But back to the topic at hand, I cannot flat foot this motorcycle. I'm on the balls of my feet, kind of tiptoe-ish. Tiptoe would be like full, just like, but I'm on the balls of my feet on both sides. Now, not a huge deal for me at 5'11". If I'm, say, waiting for somebody in the parking lot, after I got gas to put their helmet on, I can you know, drop my right foot on the brake or maybe I'm in a stoplight, kind of lean the bike to the left. Now I got my left foot completely flat on the ground, no big deal. Or I can use the brake on the right-hand side, sort of lean the bike to the right. Now I got my right foot flat on the ground, no big deal. I can chill here for all day, no problem. So <clears throat> can't completely flat foot the bike, but with a little bit of a lean angle, it's not a problem. Where it does come into play for me specifically, at, even at my height, is sort of parking lot maneuvers, backing in somewhere, moving the bike, maneuvering the bike with my feet in neutral, if you know, for lack of a better term. It gets a little weird, it, especially if there's inclines involved, there's dirt and gravel in my parking lot, or I'm sorry, my parking lot, my driveway, and it can get a little sketch um, on those inclines just using kind of the balls of my feet, trying to maneuver this thing around, or likewise backing into a space. Sometimes I've had to use the old, put it in neutral, jam the bike forward, let off the brake, and use momentum to, to bring you back. And just on your tiptoes, you have less um, purchase on the ground, less control. So this is the tallest motorcycle I've ever owned. But it's also the, the, the most, I guess for lack of a term, badass adventure motorcycle I've ever owned. It's supposed to be tall. It's got a wide tank, eight gallon tank. It's heavy, it's big. No big deal. Um, for you all that are shorter than me, and so there are a lot of people shorter than me, and there's a lot of people taller than me. So I'm not trying to like take jabs at folks, but if you're five nine, five seven, five two like my wife, you're gonna have to figure it out. It's gonna be a tall bike that will take some adapting. And and for those of you that have been riding this motorcycle for quite some time that are shorter than me, I'm sure you've adapted. You can even put it in the comments section how you get it done. Um, I can think of one instance. Maybe you're in town and you hit stoplight, stoplight stoplight you might have to adapt you might have to modify you might have to lean the bike a little bit to the left use your left or your, your right hamstring kind of rotate off the saddle like this with your hips and now you can get your foot down and then when it's time to go you kind of rotate back and you're off so once once this bike is in motion not a big deal you don't notice at least i don't notice the weight i can flick this thing back and forth um, the height obviously is not a problem and it's a great motorcycle but Back to the in-town example, if you're primarily a commuter, in-town street rider, you know, five miles to and from work every day, you're probably not buying this bike anyway, okay? So, that all that said, um, I just wanted to address some of the questions in the video and give you some actual perspective of how tall I am and how I have to sort of sit when this motorcycle is completely vertical and the orientation of my feet. So. That being said, I hope to get out this week, make some great riding videos. I got some tutorials I wanna add. Um, can't really get after too much, it's still kinda of crappy. I mean, it's December and the roads are not the greatest, but I can get out and do some new rider tutorials I wanna do with my new motor vlog setup. Waiting for things to melt. Um, still got some ice in areas uh, that has yet to melt that I can't get out. So anyways, I digress. Thanks for watching everybody, again, Everybody's support, uh, this channel has exploded uh, in a short amount of time and I really appreciate your support. And, and if again, you're so inclined, please hit that subscribe button. I hope to produce, you know, videos on a regular, especially through the winter, but once summer ramps up, I met with some guys today, we got some trips planned. We're gonna do some awesome stuff on these motorcycles. So that being said, thank you for watching. 
Thank you for taking the time with me this evening, taking your time. Hope all is well on your end, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.